There are over 5.5 million vending machines in Japan. That's one for every 23 people that live here. They're literally everywhere. With so many vending machines, we just knew that there had to be some really unique, really wonderful, and really, really weird things that we could get out of them. So in this quest, we venture all over the land of the rising sun for a month to find the strangest thing that we could buy from a vending machine. What? Oh. Things just keep getting more and more bizarre, so make sure you stick around until the end. Hit that subscribe button for more and let's get going. What is that? All right, so we're just walking in Sapporo and we came across a vending machine that sells Cricket cookies. Cricket cookies. These are very high protein. 12 grams of protein per cookie. That's great. Smells like a regular cookie, kind of like a ginger snap almost. I, to be honest, I have no idea what to expect from this. Oh, full on in the mouth, huh? Mm -hmm. So that was way crunchier than I expected. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Cookie itself tasted great. The aftertaste, significantly less good. Is it weird that I really like these? They're crunchy, they kind of have that shortbread texture. I actually don't feel like I noticed the crickets at all. I would totally eat these. You are eating them. I'm totally eating these. The banana vending machine, they're all individually wrapped for $1.50, $1. I've never got a banana from a vending machine before. I haven't gotten a fortune out of a vending machine yet, so here we go. It has a disclaimer on it right down here. All the contents written and suggested on the papers you draw are for the purpose of entertainment and not backed up by scientific evidence. Please note that you and we shall not be responsible for any troubles caused by your actions. Oh, wow. Oh, is she going to go retrieve it for me? That's pretty cool. She's gonna go get my fortune. Nope, she's back. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you. Let us see what the future holds for me. Oh, there's a likelihood of success if you're determined enough for it. Clean up your bathroom every single day. Don't care what online people think of you. If you get a lucky charm, make sure that you put it in your bathroom on a rainy day while you're taking a shower. Sorry in case you don't find it. Okay, looks like I need to go find somewhere where it's rainy immediately and hang this up in a bathroom. This is corn soup. It says take a break with thick soup. Slowly sloshing corn soup. These, I, these whole time I thought this was all just like drinks and stuff. Turns out we were missing corn soup. I'm so excited. Oh boy. It's very warm. Wow. It, it's like as soon as you open it, it definitely smells like corn. Oh my god, yeah, it smells like corn <laughs> over here. Like, holy cow. Wow. I can't say that I've ever had corn soup before. Like, not it's not cream of corn. It's literally just like corn and corn soup. And it's hot. I, I like it. That is thick. All right, so we're inside of Don Quixote right now, and this is a vending machine that allows you to make a little wax stamp for your family crest. I think this is just the coolest. That's cool. <laughs> this one, because it'll be more clear when you stamp okay. it. You know, you want it to be official. Popular among men. Okay, it's so right now carving my hunkyo. I think I'm pronouncing it right, I'm sorry if I'm not. So it had the exact characters for my last name, which is really cool, there's only one option. When I typed in other people's names, there were like seven options. So it's doing it, it could take like 10 to 20 minutes, so please hold. It's almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. That is awesome. <laughs> this, this is so cool. I'm gonna use this on every official document I ever send. Oh boy. So this looks like a vending machine that gives you a random item that is sometime like a Nintendo DS, 
and it's sometimes like a like a watch. I think you just like press one of the buttons and it gives you one. Okay. Oh, what am I hoping for here? I think I'm hoping for the Apple Watch. I kind of want the dog. Robot. You want the dog I robot? The dog okay. robot. Dog robot. A 3DS. I would love a 3DS. Most likely is that we're gonna get a toothbrush. Can we do it? Maybe that's not available. Okay. <laughs> oh, it also doesn't work. Okay, so it's not the middle one or that one. Oh no. Oh, oh, oh here we go. Here we go. What do we get? We got a three and we got a three and one USB charging cable. Your favorite. <laughs> Why is this my curse in life? Cables. More cables. So many cables. All the cables. Oh my god. Okay. You can get ramen? This must be a famous chef. This is chef. From ramen museum. Oh it comes from the ramen museum. I don't know if this is weird, but I think this is my favorite vending machine so far. Just because of, just look at this. How do you think it makes it? Okay, let's find out. Uh, go. What? Wow. Oh, it's a, it's a package. <laughs> Frozen solid. Well. Can't wait to eat this later. Ramen from the Ramen Museum. There's a special secret recipe. They don't share the recipe, but they share with you how to make it. Noodles, a couple of pieces of pork, some sauce. This must be the broth. Dude, the broth doesn't even move. <laughs> yeah, it's a, little, it's a little thick. Yeah, you know? I've had better ramen. <gasps> it's not bad. Nothing magical about it. I wish I had a camera to put on Lisa and she was recording <laughs> you. Okay, so I went all the way out here for these 10 yen vending machines. I've been on the train for like an hour. And all of them, every single one, sold out. Sold out. You can't pick what you get out of here. It just kind of gives you something random for 10 yen, but all sold out. But all is not lost. What is here are these kind of like random vending machines. They don't tell you at all what's in there. Each of these just says like surprise. This is not sold out, but I have no idea what it's gonna give me. I think I gotta get the 500 yen one. You know, like go big or go home, you know? <laughs> Sounds pretty big. What did I get? I, what even is this? Uh, what I got according to this is a hamburger steak bento box that takes eight minutes in the microwave that's honestly the last thing I expected to come out of there. Okay, time to try the next one over here. This like uh, one that's got some more expensive options. So what I got was this bottle of hand sanitizer, right? Everybody's got one of those. But the interesting thing is that it came attached to it with this card. And I have no idea what it is, but it says it's a Kuo card worth 1,000 yen. For what? I have no idea, but it might be for this forklift here. Okay, so after a little bit of research online here, uh, it looks like what I got is a 1,000 yen gift certificate that works at like Family Mart Lawson's and a handful of other places. So, game a thousand, got a thousand back. I don't, <laughs> it's so like flimsy. I don't know if it's actually gonna work or not, but uh, let's find out. After we get whatever is in this 50 yen machine, of course. 30 yen. All right, moving up to 50. Salt and Natsu Dai Dai. It's like a Gatorade. Okay, 100 yen. What do we get? Very spicy rice and noodle soup mixture. 200 yen time. Who could know what will happen? Who's taking his time? <laughs> uh, some corn soup mix. This is gonna be so exciting. I mean, indirectly, I won this delicious piece of chicken out of that vending machine. Best price so far, and I still got enough to buy like four more of these. Just so that my allegiances are clear here, I just want to state for the record, the Karage Red is the single best convenience store chicken product that you can get anywhere in Japan. But, 7-Eleven one's pretty good too. A drink? Yeah, give it a try. Tastes like sweet mouthwash. Yep. Okay, so we're in Osaka and I just found a sake and beer vending machine. Maybe not weird, but 
I think it's pretty awesome. I think it's pretty great. They even got like mini sake cups. He's so tiny. Not so mini sake cups and then all these different beers. I feel like sake is the thing I gotta get. So I'm gonna get this one. This one. This little sake cup. Look at it go. That is refreshing. Wow. He found a vending machine in Shinjuku with fresh strawberries. Whoever fills this vending machine, thank you. So there's strawberries from different regions. This is from Fukuoka. Oh, there it goes. Frozen strawberries from a vending machine from Fukuoka to be enjoyed later. All right, so I just found an entire cake in a can in a vending machine. And I just looked it up and it's from like some super famous cake shop in Hokkaido. I think I gotta try the classic one, the strawberry shortcake one. All right, here it is. The shortcake in a can. It was a little, actually pretty long spoon. I think the busiest street in the world to eat this on, but what can you do? Oh, that's really good. It's like sweet, but not too sweet. And it's got that nice shortcake flavor to it. It's definitely the best thing that we've gotten out of a vending machine so far. Definitely the most delicious. All right, on to the next one. Is this a sushi vending machine? Is that what, and they sell pancakes too? Ooh. I just got fish out of a vending machine. It smells very strongly. Oh boy, so much tape. Hold on. Vacuum packed, frozen, uncooked fish. Cooking method grilled on one side for about four to five minutes. How's that vending machine food? It's actually really good. Yeah. The fish is super salty. Like it has. Oh, it was marinated? Yeah, it was marinated. Oh. It's actually, it's uncannily good for vending machine salmon. Way better than our other vending machine food. Okay, so we're walking home and found another one. Uh, so this is, I think, dashi soup stock. And it's got an actual fish, like, in the bottle. So this is the thing they use, like, you dilute it into hot water and it makes soup. I mean, we gotta have it. There is a fish in there, is for there? sure. Oh, oh yeah. I dare you to drink it. Nope. So, you know, in case you're walking home and you need to make soup, got this good old vending machine. I'm making miso soup with the dashi that we bought yesterday. Thrilling. This place is so cool. It's like a dedicated hub for vending machines. I love it. They have like super expensive A1 YU steaks in here and they have dumplings and scones and soup. I don't know what this is. This is the first time we've ever seen anyone actually refilling an actual vending machine and she's super friendly. I think this place serves horse sashimi. Like horse meat sashimi. I think we gotta get this, right? I'm very excited. All right, let's see. It seems like this is the one where you get like some of the lean and then some of the marbled stuff. Cool. Whoa. Oh, wow. Okay. There it is. This is just, this is frozen. That is frozen solid. So we have to eat that later. So we're gonna we're gonna wait on this thing to thaw out, and then we're gonna eat it. And I'm very excited about it. As long as we're here, we might as well get a scone out of a vending machine. You know. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is also frozen solid. So just put in the old horse sashimi scones. I think they're ready. Maybe ask yourself, what does horse meat sashimi taste like? Let's find out. Cheers. Mm. Much chewier than I expected. Definitely better with the soy sauce, but you know, what isn't? It smells like tuna. Wow. Mm. Yeah, it's a lot 
thicker and chewier than I was imagining. Muscly? I'm not really sure how representative this uh, vending machine previously frozen horse sashimi is to like the, the dish overall. Maybe this one will be better. This is the, from what I translated off of it, this is just the fat. chewy and then there's like stringiness throughout it as you're eating it so you're like chewing through the fat and it's just like I mean it's just 100% fat what you're getting on there mm, that, smells, that smells nice oh yeah big win that's a great scone you know how a lot of scones you just get a sugar bomb so you don't really taste the actual fruit like you can actually taste the blueberries and they're tart and fresh tasting. Hmm. I will get these again for sure. Is that a vending machine? <laughs> what is that? All right, so this one's a lot less about like finding a weird thing in a vending machine, but a lot more about the weird place that the vending machine is. So we're in Amami Oshima, an island kind of halfway in between like mainland Japan and Okinawa. <laughs> and to each side of us, like a mile on each side is just farmland as far as you can see. And then there's this. Just right out here in the middle of nowhere. And there's a goat protecting it, I guess. What do you want? Ooh. I'm buying today. What do you guys want? Ooh. <laughs> you want a Coke? All right. Coke. Coke. All right. I want, I would love a coffee. And it's cold. Two Cokes coming right up. Did anyone ask the goat what he wants? He seemed pretty interested in uh, what was going on over here. Gracias. Okay, what do I want? Bye. Bye. See you later. Thanks for the coke. <laughs> What's this? What'd you find? <laughs> okay, so this thing sells bugs in a small container that you can eat. And all I have to do is I gotta decide which one to get. And this one sells like crickets, water bugs, rhino beetles. What else do they got? Mixed bugs, a scorpion, tarantula. I, two of the Kyoto crickets are already sold out. So I think that's, that's probably the best one. So in case you're worried, I was too. No colors or preservatives in any of these. They are boiled and dehydrated. 100% natural, no MSG. <laughs> it smells pretty good. It smells like a bag of potato chips. Cricket. <laughs> good, way crunchier than I thought. I have any in my teeth. I'm going better for more. This is good. It even tells you the nutritional facts. 392 kcals. Very well preserved. Oh, it's like a peanut. Wow. Mm. This one's wingy. Very wingy. It's like a peanut with not even that salty, but a little bit savory with winged skin. It's pretty good. Tastes herbal. Okay, so we just talked to somebody and I think we got a lead on a whole bunch of pretty weird vending machines and they're all in like one place here in Akihabara. So we are gonna head there right now. And not only that, but we bumped into our friends, the One Pack Wander. Hello. <laughs> we're gonna, <laughs> they were ready for this. Jackpot, baby. Dun, 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 dun. Jackpot, baby. 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 Nondescript boxes. Oh wow! <laughs> Could be anything in there, even a boat. Some popcorn. Yes. <laughs> okay. How does this work? Two hundred twenty yen. We're getting some popcorn. You guys want some popcorn? Wow, yeah. Finally, get to get rid of all this change we've been collecting forever. So we're on this really nondescript alleyway, but it's not too far off from the Akihabara station, and it's kind of creepy because it just started getting really dark. <laughs> And that, I think, is the best part of this adventure. This thing looks so old. 
<laughs> no. Did you see it what? <gasps> Is that a microwave? Yeah. How does it do that? Yeah, dude. Uh, what? You can smell it. Yeah, it smells like popcorn. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Behold, fresh <laughs> hot popcorn. Yes. Mmm, uh... that's really stale. <laughs> that has been in there for a very long time. It's. I mean, it's some of the worst popcorn I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> but the experience, mm -hmm. 10 yeah, out of 10. 10 out of 10 experience. Ooh, it smells old. Mm, acceptable. I see a white box with yellow tape with Japanese. 37, okay. <gasps> <laughs> what are we gonna get? <laughs> Something very ominous about a white box. Okay, it's light. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's really light. Oh. I can't believe you're still eating that popcorn. <laughs> we bought it. It feels That's, like a very yeah. scary birthday present. Oh, it's really taped down there, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna rip Oh, wait, it. there's a note. <gasps> Do you think the people that live here, like, are that own these, like, just live above here? They're just watching all these yes. funny corners freak out about? Uh-oh. Okay. Should we Google Translate it, or? <clears throat> My high school friend Ogawa's family was poor, and he wore clothes that were hand-me-downs. Even his brother's pants two years older than him. Due to the difference in my physique, my pants were always baggy and my thing was always sticking out. I was always teased by my classmates that I was a side prince. I'm not sure what a side prince is. It's probably Mr. I felt sorry for Ogawa, so I purposely put on baggy pants and put them on myself. And I became a Yokochin brother. At the age, even at the age of 65, we are brothers and friends. I will one day drink again in Shimbashi. Do you want to open this? Oh, what did you get? Chocolate sticks! <laughs> Very unexpected. <laughs> okay. Good. Sounds like a pretzel. It's kind of stale. Mmm, yeah, that sounds like a pattern. It's not very sweet. Okay, guys, there's more. <gasps> Wait, how deep does this Oh my gosh. Go? Oh, look. What is back here? I need some light. Please. This is so creepy. Maybe open bottles of. Ginger is this, ale, is this a, that's a fake scorpion, maybe stale chips. What's that? Is that a stapler? It's over here. What's over here? Oh, soup. more back there. Yeah. <laughs> wow, this one just has cherries, maraschino cherries in here. All these machines have a bunch of these blue drinks. The only English on the whole can says Calpis. Wait oh, a this is just water. Wait That's not a what minute. The... <laughs> Bamboozled. Canned water. Oh, False advertising. What happened? Tastes like flat soda. Wait, are you ordering it out of a dark vending machine? That one, 990. What are you getting? It smells really bad back here. It's gross feeling. <laughs> All right, out of the alleyway, let's see what we got. It's strawberry bread. And bread. it's called pankan. Like, oh, like panda in a can. 20 and 27. Oh, wow. That's good. So it's fresh. What? It's not, I don't want to drop it, but it's bread. It smells good and sweet, like strawberry. It's not soft, necessarily. Oh. Oh. It's like if you bought a dinner roll and froze it and then dethawed it and put strawberry jam on it. Yum. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna a, try some? Let me get a hunk of that. I can feel my insides drying out. <laughs> so, that's it. Yeah, 
Did we end up traveling for a month literally all the way across Japan, even going so far as to find a tiny island with a goat guarding a vending machine, all while spending $100 on mostly useless junk and raw horse meat? Yeah, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you get a 3-in-1 USB cable. Sure. But it wasn't just about the stuff in the vending machine. We got to see some corners of Japan that we would have never gone to otherwise, all to keep discovering new beautiful places in these ever-present, ever-reliable vending machines. Even in the darkest of nights and alleyways, these vending machines became a familiar friend that we were always happy to see. And now, we get why they're such a big part of Japan. I love it. Thanks for coming along on this journey with us. We'll see you soon.